Guy, uh, a, a tough win on Saturday, but sometimes winning ugly is, is better than having a blowout game. A, a learning experience for the guys, perhaps? Well, I liked it. I liked how we came out in the third period. It was something we were playing bad. I think the shots were 45-11. So I give Ohio a lot of credit. I think they played a great road game and, you know, stuck to a game plan, and it almost worked for them. I mean, they were up going one, one nothing going into the third. And, but we kept at what we did, and I think we did it better in the third than we did the first two periods. And huge, uh, huge night by uh, Kurt Collins and a huge goal, obviously, shorthanded to get us going. They, that line had a huge weekend. Yeah. We talked about it before the game on Saturday that the, the, the grinders really stepped up on Friday, and Kurt got it going on that first shift on Friday night. Uh, he did. I mean, they, they scored, I think, 17 seconds Friday night, and actually they were the one line uh, above all others who kept the gas on the pedal, and they played really well in the third, and it showed in the, in the game on Saturday. So sometimes you just can't turn on the wa you know, turn the faucet on and off just as you want. You have to be prepared and keep going, and I think that line is a perfect example. I think they showed great leadership all weekend. Nate Jensen, uh, I talked to Kurt about uh, Nate setting him up on that, that first short-handed goal on Saturday, and you know, he talked about how great a player he is defensively, and the hockey sense is just amazing. Yeah, well, he's, he's the type of guy, he, he does... He makes very few mistakes. Like there's defensemen that can do great things, yep. and then but you'll also see them screw up. And uh, Nate Jensen has he, he he is very 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 good all the time. And I don't think he's going to make the flashiest of plays, but you'll never see him mess up. He's just he's a very he's a very consistent, very very intelligent hockey player. What's uh, the biggest concern heading on the road going up to Rhode Island this weekend? Uh, health. I mean, we want to get everybody healthy. I'd love to see Chris Cerruti. Um, I'd like Nick to get healthy. We've got a few other bumps and bruises. Uh, you know, Dan Petrick is close, I think. I mean, he, we'll see when the cast comes off. But I'd like to get healthy and get a chance to see, you know, more of the team uh, before we get into the down the stretch. So that, that's the biggest concern. I think we just keep on the prog process that we're, what, that we're on. Uh, we have things to work on, but I think we're getting better and better. As you mentioned before, having a tough game going into the third down is, certainly helps that. You, want, you can see a lot more than if you're up 7-0. Speaking of which, uh, you got uh, Dan Meiselman and Tim Acker in the lineup on Saturday. Both played pretty well. Yeah, that's right, and it's good for competition for every position right now. Forrestell played, played well on defense, so I think the more, in, you know, uh, the more intense internal, internal competition, the better it is for everybody. Good. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thank you.